A couple months ago, LAFC won the MLS Cup. And as is tradition, every single player receives their own special championship ring. So I thought we'd take a look at all the current MLS championship rings and we'll rank every single one of them from worst to best. Starting from 1996 where the first ring was unveiled, all the way up until the latest ring which is the 2021 New York City FC ring. That gives us a total of 26 championship rings to rank. Before we get started, I've made ring ranking videos on almost every other major sport in the US, including the NFL rings, the NBA rings, MLB rings, and NHL rings. All links will be in the description and as you can see by the screen there are the videos so feel free to check those out if you're interested in what those rings look like as well another thing is that some of these MLS rings were very little documented so a lot of these pictures were super hard to find some may be replicas and there were some rings that I could not find any picture of so I've had to use an alternate illustrated picture to kind of help gauge what that ring would look like but I did manage to find the majority of these rings one final thing, and I hate to be this guy, but 99.4% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, turn on notifications because I make entertaining videos in all major sports. If you like basketball, soccer, football, hockey, baseball, all of it. I upload two times every week, so there's plenty of content coming your guys' way. And you guys will never be short on videos. I also always take in viewer suggestions, so comment any video suggestions down below and I will add it to my list to create. Enough of me talking though, let's rank these 26 MLS rings. Starting the list at number 26, we have the 1997 DC United ring. Now this was one of the two rings that I could not find any picture of, so we'll have to go off this official MLS image of the ring. The ring features the DC United Eagle in the center surrounded by a ring of diamonds. It's really tough to go off of this ring with the very little information we have, but it does look like a solid ring for its time. You also have to keep in mind that this is the second oldest ring. There are no bad MLS rings, but this one is one of the oldest and we have such little information about it that it has to place at number 26. At number 25 we have another DC United ring, and this is the DC United ring from 1999. Once again, the iconic eagle is featured in the center with a star-shaped diamond in its chest. Once again, it's just a pretty solid looking ring. But DC United made sure that their rings were kept as simple as possible, and therefore the designs aren't that extravagant and they don't really take any creative leaps. That being said, just a solid good looking ring placing at number 25. At number 24, we have the third DC United ring in a row, and this is their 2004 ring. It looks very similar to their last ring, except the fact that it is five years newer, so the designing is slightly better. Also, there's a couple extra diamonds on the outside of this ring, just giving it a little bit more. A lot of the same things with the last ring apply here, putting it in this position. At number 23, we have the 2009 Real Salt Lake ring. This is another simplistic ring design. It has the MLS cup featured in the middle with a solid black background behind it. I really like how satisfying this design looks, but at the same time, I wish there was some team representation somewhere on the front of the ring. That being said, what it does do, it does it very nicely. And as you guys can see, the rings are getting progressively better as we go on. At number 22, we have the 2007 Houston Dynamo ring. Now, as you can see, there's two trophies behind the word Dynamo because this was a back-to-back -back for the Dynamo, their second MLS Cup in a row. That being said, the design is solid. However, there could have been some color included on this ring. Besides that, there's not really much else to cover with this ring, so let's move on. At number 21, we have the 2000 Kansas City Wizards ring. Another simple ring that doesn't really warrant too much to talk about. However, I do like how this one included a lot of color unlike the previous ring. Besides the color and the trophy in the middle, there's not really much else that this ring offers. At number 20, we have the 2005 LA Galaxy ring. The only picture online of this ring is a person wearing it on their finger, so I'll also pull up the MLS visual image to kind of help us picture this ring. This is a very creative concept, as the shape in the middle is actually the shape of their logo, as well as the diamonds in the center progressively getting smaller to kind of give off a galaxy illusion. A very creative ring, however I just wish this ring was a little bit more symmetrical, but this ring did think outside of the box. At number 19 we have another LA Galaxy ring, and this is their 2002 ring. This one kind of just comes down to personal preference. I think the design is done a little bit better here, and I do prefer the way it looks compared to the other Galaxy ring. I like the center of the ring with the checkered diamond style behind the logo, and it's just a simple, nice looking ring. At number 18, we have the 2008 Columbus Crew ring. Once again, images of these rings are hard to find, so there is this image that barely shows the logo on the center, but I'll pull up the visual representation of it as well. This ring has a very detailed logo of the Columbus crew in the center, with a ring of diamonds around it. 
a very super clean look and I actually really like their logo and I feel like it really fits well with the nature of the ring. Some ring coloring would be nice, but this is definitely the best logo we've seen on a ring so far. At number 17, we have the 2010 Colorado Rapids ring. We're really starting to get into the great looking rings here. The logo is done great, and the red just meshes well with the silver background. Diamonds are scattered out all through this ring, and it just looks really nice. At number 16, we have the 2006 Houston Dynamo ring. In my opinion, their first ring was much better than their second ring. It features more color, and I prefer the logo in the center than the two trophies. The logo is also done very well with the orange diamonds surrounding it. And once again, these rings are just rapidly increasing in quality. At number 15, we have the 2003 San Jose Earthquakes ring. This is the other ring that I could find absolutely no picture of, so once again, here is the image of what it would look like. This design is heavily influenced by the previous ring, the 2001 ring, which we'll get to later. I like the coloring of the logo inside the kind of grainy diamond texture in the center, as well as the star with the diamond in the center at the bottom base of the ring. The logo is done well, but once again, it's tough to get really in-depth with these rings that we have very little information on. However, we do have a picture of the previous San Jose ring, and that is the 2001 Earthquakes ring, placing at number 14. This gives us a good idea of what the other ring would kind of generally look like. And looking at both designs, I feel like this one just does it a little bit better. And we know more about this ring, which is why I'm giving it the higher spot. As you can see, there's that grainy diamond texture behind the logo, and I actually really like that type of design. The logo here is done magnificently. It's super detailed, the coloring is great, and it just looks very appealing. I also like the two blue diamonds on the outside ring. This is definitely a great ring. At number 13, we have the first ring ever, and this is the DC United 1996 ring. An absolute great ring for its age. The design just looks super good with a well-crafted star in the center with a bold diamond in the middle, as well as all the red diamonds on the outside of that own star. The design feels nice and symmetrical, it doesn't do too much, and I feel like everything that it contains it does very well. At number 12, we have another one of the older rings, and this is the third ring ever, the 1998 Chicago Fire Ring. Same thing applies here, an absolute amazing ring for its time, and I love how they incorporate the Chicago Fire Department logo onto the ring. They also kind of shape the entire ring to mimic that logo, and I think they do it perfectly. The C in the center representing Chicago is really nice, as well as the red diamonds within that C, and I feel like this design is executed well, and just looks really good. I mean, it doesn't look like a ring that was made 25 years ago, but that's just how advanced it is. At number 11, we take a huge modern leap, as all of these remaining rings are from the year 2011 and on. So you can clearly see my personal preference to newer rings rather than old rings. But at number 11, we have the 2016 Seattle Sounders ring. Obviously, you can see the huge leap in technology from where we left off with the last ring to here. I really enjoy this ring's design, as I feel like the green and blue background is done very nice, and I like how they put the Seattle Space Needle in the center of the ring. It's done very well, and it really just adds more character of the city and team personalization to the ring. Besides the centerpiece, there isn't that much else to the ring, but there really doesn't need to be that much else. We have now reached our top 10, and at number 10 we have the 2012 LA Galaxy ring. We take another pretty big leap in quality of design here. You have the LA Galaxy shield in the center, as well as the four blue starred sapphires on the outside of the ring, indicating that this is their fourth championship. It's just one of these rings that is designed very symmetrically, so it's very appealing to the eye, and everything on it just has near perfect craftsmanship. At number 9, we have the 2011 LA Galaxy ring. This was the ring that came right before the previous ring, and it may look a little bit less technologically advanced, however I feel like that gives this ring some extra charm. This ring perfectly combines the elements of newer ring design, as well as the old classic compact design of the older rings. In my opinion, it definitely takes the best of both worlds here, as the logo in the center looks very stunning, with the galaxy shield surrounded by a gold outline, but it also takes hints from the older rings with the simple text border around it. Another awesome ring. At number 8, we have the 2013 Kansas City ring. This ring just really succeeds because of the awesome logo. Not only does the team logo look cool, but I feel like they designed the logo even better on this ring. There's out-branching lines from the shield, as well as the SC logo on the right side, and the blue coloring behind it just looks stunning. And as a nice supporting aspect of this ring, the rest of it is crammed with diamonds in every way possible. This ring is definitely deserving of the number 8 spot. 
At number 7, this may be a controversial pick, but we have the latest ring, the New York City FC 2021 ring. This is just another great ring that shows how ring design technologies have really increased over the years. The blue sapphire logo in the middle is perfectly executed, and I like how the outside ring alternates between a lighter blue and a darker blue. The diamonds look stunning on this ring, and the sides of the ring are well designed as well. The reason this ring isn't any higher is because it kind of follows this oversimplified design of the rings where there isn't that much bordering text. Where I actually feel like the oversimplified rings are a slightly worse version of the modern rings. You'll see what I mean as we progress down the list. But it feels like there's a lot of open space where they could have added more. But obviously, this still is an amazing ring if it places this high at number 7. At number 6, we have the other Seattle Sounders ring, and that is their 2019 ring. This ring takes everything from the last ring and just does it better. The design itself is cleaner. I like the shape of the ring a little bit better, how it's a little more circular and symmetrical. And they have two gold stars at the top this time, signifying their two MLS Cup wins. There's also the biggest change of this ring, and it is the blue sapphire background behind the logo, which gives the ring a huge burst of color. We are now entering the top 5 MLS rings, and at number 5 we have the 2020 Columbus Crew Ring. The design and textures of this ring are just stunning. The logo in the center is done great, and I love the two bold golden stars, one at the top and the bottom of the ring, indicating their two MLS Cup wins. Also the font going up the side of the ring is very satisfying, and it just seems like a very well constructed ring. The colors of gold and silver mesh perfectly. At number 4 we have the 2014 LA Galaxy ring. In my opinion this is the best out of all the LA Galaxy rings. The whole ring follows the shield shape of their logo. There's also 5 stars at the top of the ring indicating their 5 MLS Cup championships. With the middle one being gold which obviously represents this current championship. The sides are filled with diamonds and the whole shape of this ring is what kind of gives it its trademark. At number 3 we have the Portland Timbers 2015 ring. This is just one of those really stunning rings. The logo is done spectacularly. You have the beautiful axe in the center encrusted in diamonds, and behind that is a nice gold bracket with all the lineage of the logo. And even further than that is a green base, which just looks great. I love these kind of flat, smooth, colored bases. They're just really nice to look at. The rest of the ring has great text and great design. Coming in at number two. We have the Toronto FC 2017 ring. I feel like every Toronto sports team always has a great championship ring, and this one is no different. You have the logo in the center which is done very well. I love the colors that they used, and the design direction that they went with this. I also really enjoy rings that feature a ring of blocky diamonds, kind of like this black circle around the logo. I feel like more rings should utilize this design as it just looks super awesome. The rest of the ring is jam packed with diamonds as is the rest of the rings around this time. And I like how the side of the ring has their motto, all for one. Now coming in at number one, the best MLS championship ring. We have the 2018 Atlanta United FC ring. I think what makes this ring just so spectacular is the design, all the different layers there is, the skyline on the side, the color combination. They pack so much different aspects and design features into this ring, all of them perfect. The logo is simple yet very effective. They have the smooth red background behind the A, along with another layer that has the Atlanta United FC that's in a black stone background, and then another layer which has all the main diamonds and the MLS Cup Champions text. I also love rings that feature a skyline on the side of the ring, and as you can see, there is the Atlanta skyline. Every layer, top to bottom on this ring, delivers in perfect fashion. And that is why I believe that the 2018 Atlanta United FC is the greatest MLS ring. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you guys did enjoy. There are many hidden aspects and easter eggs of these rings that designers include, like the specific number of diamonds representing something about the team. There are a countless amount of these easter eggs, so obviously I can't put all of these in the video or else the video would be way too long. So make sure to put any easter eggs that you enjoy in any of these rings in the comment section below to help inform other viewers and even myself because there's a lot of easter eggs that I don't know about these rings. A lot of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed, but trust me, if you guys subscribe, it'll be well worth your time, as I make two videos every single week, all unique content, every single major sport, and also keep in mind, the videos I make are what you suggest, so you can also comment any video suggestions you have below. 
as I feel like making videos that you guys suggest is the best way to help me, it's more enjoyable for you guys, and it's just all around a win-win experience. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys are awesome, and I will see you guys in the next Heaps video.